Yes, octopi have been discovered living in cities. This is incredibly weird behavior, and it's different from the octopus gardens that we're more familiar with. Expectant mother octopi will lay their eggs next to each other. This is called an octopus garden, and it tends to occur near hydrothermal vents. This is done because of the increased temperature. It reduces their incubation period to a few months versus a few years. The mother octopi is going to die no matter what, so it means less suffering, I guess, or perhaps a better shot because something might eat them. Having the clutch all together also means that if a predator does want to come in, there's a variety to choose from, so they're less likely to get any individual octopi clutch. And yes, the mother will stay with them till the bitter end. More recently, it's been discovered that mature octopi will live in communities, and this is prior to reproduction. In areas that have a reasonable amount of food and a lot of predators, it's just safer to live together. So they'll go off, hunt, bring back shells, eat it, and then toss it outside, and eventually it forms homes. Octopi will even interact with each other in the little community. They'll be mating, which doesn't end well. Still others will just hang out, enjoy the safety, and go in and out of their den. The first time it was seen, researchers thought it must have just been a one-off, maybe man-made garbage influenced them, but more have been found. Now you may have several questions about what is going on with octopi. First off, they only live for about two years. They're highly intelligent. They can solve puzzles, remember faces, they tend to escape their enclosures. And cephalopods are even capable of delayed gratification. If they know they will get two treats from their trainer, only if they don't eat the first, they will wait. You may ask, why would a creature who lives two years bother to be that intelligent? Well, the answer might be because they don't have a lot of other defenses. Much like humans, with our lack of claws, venom, or much else that could protect us, we figured out how to be really smart rather than being really tough, and that's kind of what Octopi did. Why do they expire after laying eggs or mating? Is there any way to solve that problem? Sort of. So many will say that when female octopi lay their eggs, they protect them until they eventually starve, but that's not the whole story. They have hormonal glands, called optical glands, that help regulate the entire process. And once they lay eggs, the process is started, and they will actually destroy themselves. Even in a tank with ample food, they will start tearing off their own limbs or smacking themselves the, on the glass. It's kind of a self-destruct button. The only way to save a female octopus is to remove those glands, but they also will not take care of the eggs if that occurs, but they may live longer. Males also expire after they reproduce, the same self-destruct script as in them too. They could again be recovered by removing their hormonal glands. There is the question of why. Why would genetics design the system? We do see it in lots of creatures like mayflies and fish. It may just be to give the next generation a chance, because an adult is going to end up being a competitor. I mean, the adult might eat the babies, the octopi already eat each other, that's why you can't keep them in an enclosure together. At least that's what we thought, although cannibalism does still occur in the octopi cities. At least we have some company in the arena of being a genetic monstrosity that figures out how to survive by being really smart, but is otherwise kind of useless, because I can relate to that.